Welcome to the AmCham channel. I'm Anthony Galliano, President of the American Chamber of Commerce in Cambodia. And today I'm with Tom O'Sullivan, who is the CEO of realestate.com.kh and also the Chairman of the Real Estate and Construction Committee of AmCham. This Thursday, uh, you're putting on the Real Estate Awards, the Cambodia Real Estate Awards. Yep. What year is this in now? So this is our, our third year of the Cambodia Real Estate Awards. Okay, and this is a really big event in Phnom Penh for agents and developers. Can you tell us a little bit about the awards? Yeah, so the Cambodia Real Estate Awards first started in 2018. Uh, we wanted originally to identify and honor the leading uh, real estate agencies and agents in, in the Cambodian market, and ultimately contribute to building the Cambodia real estate industry locally in Cambodia, but also internationally on a global scale uh, and awarding the best agencies in the market helps do that because then hopefully that when people are buying to, ho hopefully when people are looking to rent or buy real estate, that they're using the most trusted agents in the market. So that was how the, the awards was conceived. Uh, we have a few very important core partners to the awards, uh, two that have been with us from the very start. One's the real estate and pawn shop regulator of Cambodia. It used to be under the Ministry of Economy and Finance. That's, that's now a separate department. And also the Cambodia Valuers Association of Cambodia, which is the local real estate governing body here, here in the market. Uh, in, at the end of the last awards, the real estate regulator, um, after our sort of, uh, I guess, review of, of the awards and how to improve it into the future, they really wanted us to add property developers to the awards. So this year will be the first year that we've added property developers, developments, uh, condominiums, finished apartments and, and bores to the awards. And therefore, we thought it was extremely important to add another core partner in the Ministry of Land Management and Urban Planning to the awards. So it's it's certainly grown over the last three years. Um, and on Thursday night, we will have well over 500 people at the Sofitel to celebrate um, the leaders in the industry and the finest real estate practices nationwide. And again, this event truly promotes um, you know, the Cambodia real estate industry and the best developers and agencies in the market locally to local investors and buyers, but also internationally on a truly global scale. And, and what this, this, this event is also about is building trust in the Cambodia real estate industry. We do know that there's a lot of opportunity in the Cambodia real estate market, and that's why it's one of the most, um, you know, it's, it's one of the most popular markets for international investors. Um, but what we what we want to do for what we want to make sure as an industry is that anyone that's buying or renting real estate in Cambodia is using uh, professional agencies that have the right training and the right licenses, and similar with developers, we only want people and we won't only want to encourage and promote developer, uh, developers that have the right licenses, which is the construction license and the sales license. So. Obviously, these awards are, are I guess, multi-dimensional in its purpose and, and what it achieves, uh, but ultimately promoting the Cambodia real estate industry locally and globally and helping build trust in the local market. What are the top awards that you're giving, the high, uh, and some of the past winners of those awards so people can put some context against the yeah. awards? So um, previous winners include like local giants like CPL, uh, as, as well as sort of the local up and coming agencies like Pointer Property, for example, um, leading expat agents like IPS Cambodia, um, and then the bigger names like globally, like CBRE, Knight Frank, Century 21. So what we really do is design these awards where everyone feels comfortable that they can enter and be competitive in their own category, if that makes sense. So from a real estate agency point of view, uh, the big awards are obviously Real Estate Agency of the Year, uh, Regional Real Estate Agency of the Year, uh, Property Management, Valuation and Feasibility Studies. And then for the developers, 
again, we've we've um, categorised those uh, developments into their own, um, I guess, categories, if, if you like, so that, you know, the affordable housing projects not competing against the biggest developer in the country. So um, we have an affordable housing uh, category. We've split the developments into local landed uh, bore uh, projects and then condominium projects, as well as off plan and completed projects. So anything from condominium development of the year, uh, bore development of the year. We've also um, got categories for companies, so developers, because we want to also honour and recognise developers that, that have been in the market for a long period of time and delivered multiple projects um, in, in, the Cambodia, in, in Cambodia. So real estate's become a very important part of the Cambodian economy, real estate and construction in general. It's, it's bordering on and sometimes is the second largest part of the economy. What's the importance of these awards in terms of recognizing uh, this really critical part of the economy and the players in the market? I think um, the, uh, for me, the most important uh, aspect of the awards is having a vehicle such as the awards to only recognize real estate agencies and developers that are the most professional in the market. So when a developer is doing marketing locally, internationally, on our platform or otherwise, when buyers are looking for what's the best developer or which agency I should use, something like these awards and the seal on the awards and their marketing sort of does a little bit of the due diligence to the buyer because they know when they're buying a property like that or they're buying a property through a real estate agency that has won one of these awards or at minimum is a finalist in one of these awards, that they've at least got um, some professional real estate training and the appropriate licenses uh, in Cambodia to be able to sell and rent real estate. Because whilst Cambodia and, and similar markets present really great opportunities for, for, for investors, there, there's also a lot more pitfalls than, than, than you would in a, a developed market, if, if that makes sense. So realestate.com.kh is behind the awards. So, yes. So the, those in the audience may be asking why realestate.com.kh in terms of um, generating these awards for the industry. Yes, great question. So realestate.com.kh is a, is a platform or, or a real estate portal. So we're in a good position to do awards like this because we work with all the leading real estate agencies in the country where they upload all of their properties onto our platform to, to generate leads. And we also work with all the property developers in the country, whether they're uh, condominium developers or, or local Bore, Bore developers. So we have a really good feel for the highest performing agencies and the highest performing developers. Um, Separately, some of our main shareholders in our company have deep experience in this type of business in, in Hong Kong, China, Malaysia uh, and, and Australia. And, and they also work with the relevant governing bodies in those markets to run awards. So we truly came in with an international approach and international standard for these awards. And um, we, we also had the resources to deliver the awards. Um, so the, the, the local real estate governing body and the relevant ministries obviously see the importance of having real estate awards in Cambodia, but might not necessarily have the, the, the time or the manpower or the know-how to deliver something like this in Cambodia. Okay. I also wanted to highlight and thank you that the American Chamber of Commerce in Cambodia is a sponsor and is quite involved in these awards as well uh, as a sponsor. Um, and I wanted to thank you for that. You're the chairman of the Real Estate Advocacy Committee of the American Chamber of Commerce. And I want to thank you for that. You're doing a splendid job. What is the importance of advocacy, uh, especially from a Chamber of Commerce in Cambodia? Look, I think ultimately um, the Real Estate and Construction Committee at, at you know, within AmCham have a responsibility to create a platform for its members um, to network and do, you know, ease of business in the local market.
but ultimately we want to um, create change at, at AmCham in the real estate and construction committee, and I'm sure you do across um, AmCham. And by change, I mean creating better standards in the local industry, bringing our knowledge um, from all the members at, of, of AmCham to the local Cambodian market and helping improve the local Cambodian real estate industry. So what that might mean is doing um, forums and, and seminars, um, running surveys about what change is needed in the, in the industry. A huge component about, of what we want to deliver is a higher standard of, of training and calling on some of our uh, American-based partners that are obviously um, well-skilled in real estate and have training modules that we believe we'll be able to bring to Cambodia and to deliver to the, the AmCham members, I'm sure at a, a great rate, but really open it up to the whole market. We also want to support both the Ministry of Land uh, and the real estate regulator and any other relevant ministry to communicate the change that they're trying to, to push in, in, in the local market. We, we all have a shared vision and we feel like certainly the AmCham platform has a strong platform to be able to communicate to a large part of the audience that even some of the ministries might not be able to. Um, so we're really looking forward to a, to a, to a big year of, of creating change in the real estate industry um, under the Real Estate and Construction uh, Committee at, at AmCham Cambodia. I want, to, I want to thank you for your efforts with the um, Real Estate uh, and Construction Advocacy Committee. You've done a fantastic job. This Thursday is, again, a gala spectacular night for the Cambodia Real Estate Awards. I'm very happy to be attending and I, I get fortunate to give an award out as well. Um, so watch out for the winners. I think we'll have a follow up, uh, just a short one to, dis to discuss the winners yep. uh, as well. So good luck for all of those that are participating and uh, we'll see you after the awards to tell you who won. All right. Thanks, Anthony. Thank you.